So here we have one nearly completed unit. So we have the servo here, which operates the vent at the front. So servo turns, opens up the vent. See a little push rod there. Here, uh, this jack goes to the other unit to turn it on and off. And this one is the connection that goes to the relay for the carbon dioxide sensor. Here we have the Arduino. Uh, the power supply comes in here. This is a standard computer power supply connector to Molex. Um, I got one of these things off Amazon here that does two amps on 12 volts and five volts. Uh, there's the Arduino. These are fan speed controls for the three fans. Um, they are PWM controlled, but these particular fans also have a, a, an individual control that go, works along with the PWM so you can fine tune them, which is nice. So you know, for whatever the, the fans are beating or something, I can maybe be able to fix that. And you can see the underside of the board. Uh, foam on the inside there. This is the manual override switch here. So if you want to turn it on directly and hit this button right here, I'll show you how that works. Okay, here we have the working unit. This is uh, power coming in here. So I said DC 12 volts and 5 volts. Uh, the little blinking red light in there says that it's working. So this is the manual override here. So when I press this button, the fans will go on high speed. Press it again, they go to medium. Press it again, they go to low. One more time, they turn off. And this is when you're not using the relay, if you have the relay running. And of course, just carbon dioxide will set it off. Okay, so here we'll hit the button. Door opens up, fans are on high. And again, go to medium. Again, low. And off, door closes. But here's where it really comes into its own. So here we have CO2 sensor, and it's wired into the jack on the side here through this relay port. Now this, once it detects the CO2 levels go above a uh, thousand parts per million, the relay in here will trip, which will turn this thing on. And I can make it do that just by blowing on it. Watch. You watch this will start to climb. When it hits a thousand, boom, automatic. So that's the mode that I intend to use it in uh, for the most part in the room, is just leave this thing on and running. And if you're playing and things get a little too much CO2 in the room, this thing will automatically kick on and turn the box on. And you see when it gets below 900, it turns off again. So totally automatic and very cool. So there you have it. There's the air exchanger. Here we have a close-up shot of the Arduino assembly. So that's a standard Arduino open source prototyping board. Um, it has a really simple processor on it, easy to program, and you can get all these nifty things like this, what they call a breakout board, um, which I was able to prototype and put all kinds of stuff on there. So for my application, I needed three connectors for the three fans, one for the servo over here, um, and then this relay here, which turns the fan voltage on and off. Um, the fans are switched from this 12 volt input right here, and this five volt here is dedicated to the servo over there. Um, so that's how that works. Um, there's just a little bit of handy work on it other than that, but that's pretty much it. Um, this little thing just goes right on top of the, the Arduino board here, like so. You can see all the wiring I did on the back. So that's it. It's pretty simple. These things are dirt cheap. You can get them for 10 or $20, I think, and these shields are what they're called. These breakout cards are not very much money, either $10 or something. So all the parts here together are $20, $25 or something. It's not very much standard hard drive power supply. Got the plastic part at uh, the local plastic shop in the bargain bin. One buck. Can't beat that. Uh, so there you go. That's how you build a little controller. You know, and you can use these to do just about anything. They have lots of digital I.O., um, pulse width modulated I.O.s for the fans and the servo. Uh, analog inputs for sensing things. So very, very handy. So check them out if you're into that kind of stuff.
So one of the interesting things about this room, since it used to be a garage, is we have these little vents down here. Um, so I wanted to cover those up, but at the same time, I needed to do something about circulating air in here. So what I've done is I've created these little air exchanger boxes. Uh, not quite sure how well they're going to work yet, but we'll give it a try. So it's basically just a box of half inch plywood um, with some baffles in it. Um, and down in the bottom there you see the holes here. So in those holes are going to go good old fashioned PC fans. Um, I've got a little microcontroller for it and everything. I'll, I'll do an update once those are done. But the idea is that thing's going to cover up that hole there and it'll have a piece of wood covering up the front of it eventually with a vent on the top. So when you need to get fresh air in here, um, you can circulate some air through.